Hello everyone, and welcome back to Here Be Games. It's me, Steven. No camera this week because this is an older game and I had to jump through some hoops to make it even work at all. So, yeah, here, so I just, here we are. Maybe I'll get the camera back once I uh, fiddle with this some more, but I didn't have time to get it figured out because uh, I had to work today. Anyway. I digress. Fallout New Vegas. Take a sip of coffee. One of my favorite video games of all time, if not my absolute favorite. I love this game to death. Fallout is an incredible uh, franchise of games, but uh, this is my favorite of the lot and we're going to start playing it today. Uh, I'm going to let the intro do its thing when we do start because it's got a really great like setup to the story and to fill time I'm gonna like share Fallout War with you and <clears throat> I know that Sean Ridiculous Ed Tollett is another like Fallout lore or a Fallout junkie like myself so yeah <coughs> Excuse me, we will, uh, we're going to start a new game, we're going to get through the intro, um, then I'm going to ask you guys like about sound levels and, and whatnot. Actually, before we start, and I'm going to take another sip of coffee here, uh, but before we start, how is the, can you hear the sort of background music? Um, yeah, I'm gonna give every give y'all a chance to tell me if you can hear the music right now. Okay, good. You hear music. Also, uh, hi Kate, hi Sean, hi Laura, hi Belle. It's nice to see you guys. Um, yeah, so we're gonna start some Fallout. Uh, I'm not gonna talk over the intro because I think it's a great intro and it really like sets every sets up the the whole mood of the game. So uh, yeah, here we go. Let's start a new game. Yes. Atomic fire consumed the earth. Those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam 
and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. We got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Great game, y'all. Great intro, too. Um, and that character is voiced by... I feel like it's too loud now. That character is voiced by Matthew Perry of Friends fame. Uh, so how are the sound levels so far? Also, I'm gonna, like, I have DLC, so it's gonna, like, tell me you have all this stuff added to your inventory real quick. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Okay, so my name is just going to be Steven. I'm going to do the boring thing and try to play myself in this game. Doc Mitchell. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you. But you that's didn't. Your name, that's your name. My mom I'm picked Doc it. Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Hi, Doc. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. Right. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Okay, so the, like, character faces How are horrific in this game, all right? Like, the player character faces are terrible. I'm just going to randomize, yes, till I get, you see what I mean? Like, they're not good. That's close enough, sure. I'm middle-aged, so let's move up to middle, yeah, okay. Uh, I gotta have long hair, though. Nope. Definitely not any of those. Um, the unsettler is probably closest. Right? Yes. Okay. So we'll go with the unsettler. Facial hair. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Really? Gruff stuff, no. I need 
like, where's the, where's the, like, you know, where's my beard at? I'm going to go all the way to the top. Survivalist. There you go. It was at the top the whole time. Hair color. Okay, so I have kind of brownish hair. But I'm also graying pretty significantly, so I want to see if I can't find... Is that other one called Steel? Yeah, I'll go with that one. It's me, y'all! Yes, I want to be Steve. Right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. All right. Like, this is all tutorial stuff. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine. Take also, hi Danny, hi Leaf. Yes, that is the longest hair it will give me, Leaf. Alright, Vigor Tester. So far. Go ahead and give the Vigor Tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculty. Okay. So this is gonna be not easy for me to figure out. Strength, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go with average strength. Perception, I'm actually going to go down one. Oh, I got to click the minus. Uh, endurance, I'm going to leave at five. Charisma. That's good. Diplomat is good. Intelligence. I'm a genius, y'all. Agility and luck are the last two, and I will leave those both at five. And don't you just love how it spells out special? <clears throat> That's one of the things that Fallout has always had. So this is the character we're going to play. Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brain some good. Right? Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter in the big one. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we'll go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Dude, I'm ripped. I like it. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Dog. Ah, uh, see, I knew what he was going to say. Okay, so how does Steve answer this? I think feed. House is shelter night night is sleep bandit bribe crush stab swiss cheese vaporize or reasonable um none of these i think hide is the one i want or run away um what would i do i think i would bribe them Light. Light is... Hmm. Beam of light. I'll go... Mother. Oh, I love my mother. She's a caretaker. Human <laughs> shield. I love some of the responses this game gives you. Like, tantrum is one. But human shield. Mwah, perfect. I'm going to go with caretaker. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. That is very true. I strongly agree with that. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Um, I don't rely on others, but I definitely... definitely will accept help and ask for it when I need to, so I'm going to disagree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Um, I don't think that's me one way or the other. I might even disagree a little bit. I'm going to go with no opinion. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. That is not me at all. I strongly disagree. I am quick to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. That is mostly true, so I will agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? 
Tell me what you see. I love it. It's a Rorschach test, and, like, <clears throat> the second one is kind of famous, so we'll get to it. Uh, a broken chain, a chemical reaction, a shadow in a door frame, an oozing wound, or an angry two-headed ant. I don't see any of those things, but, like, I will go with a chemical reaction. It sounds the most sciencey. Okay. Oh. How about this one? Um, I... It is a priceless work of art, or it's some piece of space age technology, or it's a ship at sea, or I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like, which is hilarious. Um, it's the next one that's my my favorite. I got them backwards, so um, sure, it's a piece of space age technology. Last one. Okay, so. I want everybody to tell me what do you see here? Because there are two very popular answers, none of which are his potential answers. His answers are a light in the darkness, a bearded man, a mushroom cloud, or a head on a pillow. So, what what do y'all see when you look at this specific sort of Rorsch I guess it's a Rorschach test. Kate sees two elephants kissing. See, I also see the elephants first. But, hey, Salweezy, how you doing, man? Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Um, there is also a lot of people say uh, two bears high-fiving, which is like, I love that, too. And you can totally see it once you hear it. Anyway... Um, to me, uh, that most looks like uh, a light in the darkness. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Okay, so we've made our character. Uh, it thinks we ought to have barter, energy weapons, and science. Um, that is okay. Uh, but, like, I don't want to take barter as one of my main starting skills because I feel like it's a waste almost. I think I want to take repair instead. Science repair and energy weapons. This is, energy weapons are tough to come by. Oh, I'm just going to go with, with guns. It's the safer play. Okay. Um, so, word, so, repair, science, and guns. All right. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. All right, Doc, what do you need? I for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Right? Okay, so... Let's talk about Wild Wasteland. So I can select up to two traits. Wild Wasteland makes a few minor changes to the game that adds more bizarre and silly elements. Um, I think I might turn Wild Wasteland on just because it's, it's fun. But if I do that, I can only take one other one. I might take four eyes because I do wear glasses. You have plus one perception while wearing glasses, but minus one perception while not wearing glasses. It doesn't change my base perception. It just forced me to either wear glasses or not. Uh, I like the four eyes trait. Um, another one is good natured. It gives you like minus to your fighting skills, but bonuses to barter, medicine, repair, and science. Skilled is good, but it's, you know, it's got its drawback. Um, I think I'm just going to take four eyes and wild wasteland. All right. All right. I guess that about does it. Cool. Come with me. I'll see you out. All right. Um, I'm going to follow him and let him talk to me. Then I'm going to run through his house and take everything that's worth having. Like that pre-war hat. Here, these are yours. 
was all you had on you when you was brought in. Okay. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find an extra kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Okay. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults and made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. Do you? And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Right? Okay, thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. All right. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. Thanks, Doc. But try not to get killed anymore. Um, it's good advice. We are not going to play hardcore mode. Hardcore mode forces you to sleep, eat, and drink. And it's just a pain. Okay, so he gave me a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to activate this thing. I have a repair greater than 25, so I will repair the 9mm submachine gun. I will take your Sunset Sarsaparilla. I will activate the chemistry set to create some stim packs. Um, you guys, I have played this game so much, like, I know where everything is at. Like, there's glasses here that I need. Take the reading glasses. Take the... Take that. Um, I have a weird obsession with collecting pencils in this game. So whenever I see pencils, I want them. I'm not going to steal somebody's pencil. Like, there are objects that are marked as belonging to someone, and you if you take them, it's stealing. None of... Okay, like, they'll be red like that. But, uh... Doc Mitchell doesn't have much steel stuff, but he's got anti-venom and stem packs and rad X and another stem pack and whatever's in this box. A sensor module is worth a lot of money, so I'm going to take that. Uh, he's got a laser pistol and some ammo. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, that's enough, really, honestly. Uh, here's what I need to do, though. Well, I'm just going to walk out the door first because it's going to do some stuff like it's going to tell me because I have the DLC loaded when you leave here. it uh, It's just going to tell me like you have this DLC loaded and it's going to make me click through a whole bunch of OK pop ups. I have discovered Good Springs. So we have Old World Blues. The, the Reunion. Lonesome Road. And Honest heart. And I think there might be one more that's going to pop up here in just a second. Yep, Gunrunner's Arsenal. So this is Good Springs. Don't look like much, does it? There's Doc's house. Including this battery hooked up to the light there. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, Sierra Madre. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's everything. So, talked about a metal guy who dug me out of a grave. I see a robot. Let's go talk to the robot. I've never played or even seen what Fallout looks like before. This is Fallout New Vegas. This is the best one, in my opinion. So, Victor. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Well, thank you. Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Yeah, Sean, by the way, I see what you said about XP being easy to get. You're right, but, like, I wanted to take Four Eyes instead. And I did want well, Wild Wasteland because there's some a couple of really fun encounters with Wild Wasteland. Um, how did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw it looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. 
So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Okay. Um, just for uh, those who aren't aware necessarily, the bright colored uh, options means they have something else to say. So, do you know who those men were who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Okay. Um, I'm not going to ask him any of this stuff because I don't care how he ended up here or tell him I've never seen a robot like him before. But, you know, goodbye. Happy trails! Thanks, mister. Mr. Robot. Okay, so we were told to talk to Sunny Smiles in the saloon, but first... We're going to open up the pit boy and I'm going to like, it's going to try to give me a whole bunch of tutorial stuff. I'm just going to page through the various menu tabs because it always likes to, yeah, there it is. Like, Hey, now this, learn this thing. Um, also I have turned the radio down, radio broadcast sound down because some of this music is copyrighted and I just don't want to mess with it, you know? Uh, which is unfortunate because the soundtrack to this game is also one of the things that just makes it so great. So he gave me a Vault 21 jumpsuit. I'm going to put on the reading glasses. I am going to put on uh, armored jumpsuit, lightweight leather, lightweight metal. That's got a DT of 12. DT is damage threshold, but it subtracts one from my agility. I don't want a minus to my agility. So I will take the Armored Vault 13 jumpsuit. No, I will take the lightweight leather armor. It weighs less. Okay. Let's see what we look like. Okay. Not, not too bad. Not too bad. And that thing on my arm right there, that is the pit boy. And that is... Yeah, that's me holding up my forearm with my pit boy on it. And it it's got all my stuff, like stats and all of that. I've already gained some XP. Cool. Uh, I'm going to leave this on status. I like to keep this on weapons most of the time. Um, I'm just going to pull up this 9mm pistol as our weapon to use right now. This is where, like, all your healing and stuff is stored. Miscellaneous is usually stuff that you're going to use to build or sell. And then, of course, ammo. Data has other stuff, but yeah. Anyway, um, sorry, I'm I, I'm not used to playing this. I played this on the uh, Xbox mostly, but uh, yeah. Okay, there. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Okay, this is Sunny Smiles. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Nice. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Yep. Meet me outside, they behind shot, the saloon. They shot me in the face. I need to find that guy. Look, like, y'all know me. I'm chilled out. I'm laid back. I am not the type to hold a grudge. But this dude shot me in the face. That cannot stand. I'm going to follow her out back. Sunny Smiles and her dog, Cheyenne. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Yes. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay. Well, that sucked. That's okay. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Accurate. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critter. Okay, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Yeah, like, this is kind of busy work uh, for the beginning of the game. But, like, it's an opportunity to get some free stuff and get some experience points. And, like, I figure for y'all who are who have never seen this game before it's a good uh it's a good excuse for you to like it, it teaches you all the basic mechanics of the game like she's already told me you know crouch down aim down the sights 
Um, this gun is in horrible condition. You can tell, see that C and D, and it's a bar that's condition. Um, it's terrible. I'm going to load up with this weathered 10 millimeter pistol instead because it is in excellent condition. Um, let me, so this varmint rifle does eight damage because its condition is so low. This does 16 damage, so it's literally twice as powerful. Now, the varmint rifle might be better if, um, can you use an Xbox controller? It's what you're doing. I do not have an Xbox controller. That's my problem. Um, or at least not one that's in, in condition where Hear everything that works. The behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Geckos. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Yep. Okay, cool. I will crouch. I am not that sneaky. It says follow. Okay. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. All right. Okay, this is VATS. Vault Assisted Targeting System. Um... With that, it lets you pause time, and then you can target specific body parts. So I'm going to shoot this gecko in the head. And I do have cinematic kill cam on. Oh, yeah, by the way, trigger warning for, like, all kinds of stuff in this game. Like, it ain't pretty. The Wasteland is a tough place. Uh, one thing I am going to try to do this game is do some decent survival stuff see you're getting the hang of it because there's two more wells that still need clearing you want you can come along it'd be worth a few caps to me yep i will get paid sure i'll come with you shouldn't take more than a couple minutes especially with two of us yep so come with me here's the thing i am going to well i'll follow her to this one but like it's important to be fast at this so you can save someone because they give you stuff if you save them. So I'm going as quickly as I can. I already lost track of what I was talking about. And then I'm just going to go straight on this way because... I gotta save this person. All right. Shoot him. See that? Shot him while I was jumping. Help! Okay, I saved you. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Oh yeah, I want to do survival stuff. Uh, I don't want to just kill things needlessly. Reputation. Okay, so I can become accepted. Folks, around Good Springs have come to accept me for my helpful nature. So, I'm gonna, uh, that meaning I'm going to like, when I kill an animal, I'm going to at least like take its body parts so that I can, and I'm not gonna kill stuff for no reason. This, I'm Steven, I avoid conflict, but like, I killed those geckos, they have gecko hides and gecko meat, and so I'm going to, like, use their stuff to make food and stuff, because food is hard to find, and maybe, uh, 
I can feed some people, and even if I don't, if I don't eat it myself, I can sell it, and that's worth money. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I killed these guys. This was the second batch. <sighs> okay. Oh, and I've all so this game has. <clears throat> I mean, there's multiple factions in the game, but, like, there is basically four main endings, depending on what choices, uh, like, certain choices you make along the way, and I'm telling y'all now, I've already made up my mind. I already know which ending I'm going to go for. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm back into town. I think I, I came up on town in a different spot. That's Victor's Shack, right? Yes, I think so. Yep. So, I'm metagaming if I do this, but, like, Victor's Shack has some good stuff in it. Let me turn on my light real quick. Yeah, my pit boy has a flashlight, too, which can be very helpful. Okay, ammo case. Let's take all the ammo. Scrap metal. Scrap metal. Um, yeah. So, I'm one of those that, like... I know what I want to pick up just by the name of it. I've played this game so many times. Okay, that was an empty desk. Um, I don't remember where everything is at, but, like... Sean, do you know the recipe for uh, weapon repair kits off the top of your head? Are you one of those type of players? Do geckos taste nice? I don't know. I would imagine they're, they're not too bad. But the thing is, right now, all I have is raw gecko meat. I'm going to need to, like, get some other stuff to cook it with to make it better quality. Crap, you know what I didn't do? Talk to Sunny Smiles after all that. I went and got the skins, but... <sighs> Alright, so Fallout. Um, the year is like 2275... Actually, you know what? This will tell us. Data. It is 2281. October 19th, 2281. Um... So, it's, the Fallout world is so unique. It, um, it's our world, but it divulges, it diverges from our sort of timeline, maybe no later than 1947. Um, and it, it creates a future where, like, computer technology is not nearly as good, but, but, like, nuclear technology became so good that cars ran on nuclear power like nuclear power was everywhere which is part of why everything is an irradiated like irradiated wasteland like radiation is a problem that we will have to face eventually all right sunny now that was some good work yep even got a little exciting there at the end yep Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Okay, thanks. One more thing I wanted to show you. Yeah, sure. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Um, I'm going to say no because I know what she's going to teach me and it ends up being a lot of, like, running back and forth. And there's no real reward to it. So I'm going to end the tutorial here. Okay. Say no more. Thanks, Sunny. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Mm -hmm. Kind of the town mom. Right. She likes to meet newcomers. Okay. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. I'll do that. Uh, she's just she would just teach me a very basic uh, survival skill uh, recipe for healing powder. Oh, by the way, wild wasteland trait. 
See that top left, the eyeballs swirly? That, and then you hear like the alien sound? That means this is a wild wasteland encounter. Um, I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I think it's a reference to Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. In that movie, Indiana Jones survives a nuclear explosion by hiding in a refrigerator. Here we have a refrigerator with an Indiana Jones type hat in it with a corpse. That's all I can think of, but I'm taking the hat and putting the hat on. Apparel. What's it called? Suave Gambler Hat. And I'm also going to maintain it with this pre-war hat. So, uh, yeah, you can use similar items to repair other similar items. So I'm going to use this pre-war hat, which is almost worthless, almost broken, to repair our Suave Gambler hat by 11%. And then I will put the Suave Gambler hat on. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You look good. Okay. So let's go talk to this Trudy lady. Oh, hey, Cassie. Nice to see you, even if only for a minute. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... It, yeah, okay. Uh, Sean agrees with me. It's an Indiana Jones 4 reference. One of the things that I, I can... So, like, I'm not doing anything. I'm just making sure I turn the mouse the direction I want to go. There can be a lot of walking in this game. But that gives me a chance to catch up on the chat. But, like, one one of the things with uh, the computer version, the PC version of this game, is if you just click Q, you just walk until you tell it to stop. All right, we're back at the saloon. We were asked to talk to Trudy here. Soon. I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Um, Got it. We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What do you want? Uh, what's that you said He's about some Ringo? some trader who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Okay. But serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Okay, I don't like you. Um, goodbye. All right. You're true. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Hi. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Thanks. Um, you know, let's ask her about the argument. Yeah, I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. Okay. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Alright, okay. It's odd that Cobb wasn't able to find Ringo. Uh, I'm not going to suggest just killing him. That's not my style. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Okay. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Yeah, but hope. So, I'm just going to ask her powder gangers so she can tell all y'all about him. Chang gangs, really. Yep. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Mm-hmm. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Yeah, so they were basically uh, slave labor from a prison. Prison labor. Prisoners with jobs. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Okay. Oh, uh, we'll talk about something else. All right. Shall we ask her to see what she's got for sale? Yes. Got a special discount for you after what you've done for us. Oh, cool. Um, so caps, bottle caps are the currency in this game. Uh, one of the nice sort of like subtle things, like you can find sodas in the game, and when you drink the soda, you get a cap. 
But yeah, bottle caps are the currency. Um, remind me to post a picture of my Nuka Cola bottle cap, which is they're they're supposed to be Nuka Cola caps specifically. But uh, yeah, I have a Nuka Cola bottle cap. I got it from somebody at a uh, at a convention. All right, I don't care about throwing spears, so I'm gonna sell all my throwing spears. She will buy them, but I'm gonna have like I'm gonna buy stuff from her. She only have eight items. Yes, she own she only has eight items. But she has sunset sarsaparilla. She's got purified water. See, sunset sarsaparilla will give me back uh, fifty hit points over twenty five seconds. Purified water will give me back 10 hit points over 5 seconds. Uh, Nuka Cola will heal me 50, but it'll also give me radiation. Got some moonshine. Meeting people is a speech magazine. So it's just a thing that will boost your speech temporarily. Same with fixing things. Atomic cocktail is like. Energy resistant fire is this weird. Okay, here's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy absolutely nothing. She doesn't have anything I want. So I'll just sell her my spears, take her money, and say bye. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Okay. What happens if I help Ringo, by the way? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. Right. I'd even set you up with a discount. An, a discount. Of course, helping even Ringo more. would also make the Powder Gangers mad, and they've got a lot of friends out there. Um, I don't care about making the bad guys mad. Just gotta work the requirements. Yeah, like I know this by heart, Sean, because. Be careful out there. Because. It's my, one of my preferred play styles is to play somebody with good repair because I find I find it's hard to keep your guns in working condition. But if you have a good repair skill, it becomes much much easier. So like here's some pen, some pencils, but you'll notice that they're marked red for steel. I'm not stealing your pencils. I want your pencils, but I'm not going to steal your pencils. Hi Cheyenne. Am I in your way? Yeah, I am. You phase through the door. Okay. So he's in the gas station up the hill. That looks like the gas station, but there is Good Springs General Store. Uh, that's red, so it's steel. A whole bunch of sunset sarsaparilla. Yep. By the way, y'all see that tumbleweed? Yep. Good stuff. Check the dumpster. Anything good in here? A bobby pin. Bobby pins are used to pick locks, which I will not be doing a lot of. What about you? Oh, no, you're steel. Okay. Let's go into the Good Springs General Store and see what you've got, sir. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. That's me. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. Yeah. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're yep. hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Right. Um, I don't need to know about all the ammo and extra stuff right now. Right. Um, we'll ask him if he knows anything about the people who attacked me. The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Okay. Let's uh, let's see what you got for sale. And do. Okay, so Chet has weapons and apparel and eight items. And miscellaneous items, some of which is just junk. And ammo. But we're going to start with weapons. So, you'll see some of these things will have a GRA next to them. That stands for, uh, what is it, Gun Gunrunner's Arsenal. 
Uh, they're usually kind of expensive, but they come in really great condition. You'll notice a lot of these other weapons will not be in top condition. Some of them in very bad condition, but the GRE ones are always in perfect condition when you buy them. Uh, don't think I want any of this stuff. If you have a shovel, you can dig up graves and find stuff, but I'm, uh, I'm not going to dig up graves. Not really my thing. Okay, so he does not have anything in weapons that I'm looking for or in apparel. So I usually, will, when, I, when I walk into uh, one of these places, I usually will check for stim packs. Stim packs heal you instantly. This will heal me for 43. They also have zero weight, which is really nice. So we're just going to tap all four of those into a trade. Um, I might buy some like maize and stuff to cook with. Pinion nuts, no, mutt fruit, maize. Ant meat, nope, no thank you. Okay, so that's all I want from him for that. Mm, ammo, I'm using a 10 millimeter, so I want as much, t he doesn't have any 10 millimeter ammo. Okay, I might just go ahead and pick up all this nine millimeter ammo. I don't need the plus P, no, or the hollow points. It's not enough of them to really make it worthwhile. But I've got my 9mm as a backup. Okay. Miscellaneous. So things to always look for in miscellaneous is all of that stuff that Sean just said. Stephen, have you ever played Fallout Shelter? I have played Fallout Shelter. It is kind of fun. So, But you always will look for... Wrench. You always want to look for scrap electronics, scrap metal. You always want to look for wonder glue, no wonder glue. And you always want to look for duct tape. Duct tape. Okay. That is literally, I think, everything I could want to buy from him. You'll see that I owe him 613 caps for the stuff that I've selected. I only have 298. But I'm going to balance this out by selling him a bunch of stuff. I'm just making sure that there's nothing else. I don't think there is. So, let's, uh, let's sell all the stuff we're not going to use. I don't care about this varmint rifle. I will keep the caravan shotgun. I don't care about the grenade launcher or the laser pistol or the machete. Okay. So that's good for now. Still own 388. I'm also going to sell some of this apparel stuff that it just gives you. Like that, and that, and that. I'm going to keep the Vault 21 jumpsuit for reasons that will become clear later. Um, I don't care about skill magazines. Like, it's just not a thing that I usually pay attention to. I also don't care about this poison. I do care, uh, I don't care about Radex or Super Stim Packs. By the way, you can see now he owes us 255 caps because of all the stuff I traded. Uh, I always keep my cases, which is, an, you know, yeah, I should go get all his cases and drained stuff. If he ever, yep. Yeah. Because you need cases to... You can do ammo reloading in this game. And uh, cases cost nothing, weigh, weigh nothing. I will sell the medical brace that I don't need. Keeping my pencils, the sensor module. And I'm going to get as much of his caps as I can, but I'm not... Alright, I can sell all those grenades that I don't need. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to sell all these energy cells. I'm keeping this. I don't have a weapon to use it in right now, but... But I will, and it's worth keeping. So I'm getting 454 caps from Chet. Cool. Thanks. Give me a shout if you need anything else. All right. Any? Uh, have you ever been to New Vegas? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. 
In that order, now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice, behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. That is accurate. I'd like to know more about Mr. House. I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. Yep. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? It does. Okay, you know what? We're gonna, easy now. We're going to get on with the, uh, with the action. This is not where the sto real story is. This is great for setup stuff. I'm going to activate this Dropbox for use later. It doesn't matter what it does right now, but I activated it because it will become useful later. That is a Mojave Express drop box. When I find another one, I can drop items in one box and get it from another one. So this is a gas station at the top of the hill where this guy is supposedly hiding. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? You're Ringo. I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. It's all right. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? Uh, not interested. Did you know a man named J Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. Okay. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I can handle all of them in a gunfight. Right. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Right. Uh, maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Okay. Um, I'll ask around and see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around yep. here. Yep, she's got a good name too. Sunny Smiles. Okay, well, let's go talk to Sunny Smiles again. Boop, 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 boop. Tumbleweed, tumbleweed, tumble, tumble, tumbleweed. Oh, that one's stuck. Yes, I occasionally get distracted. By the way, here's a door, a lock you can pick, but if you get caught, you know, people will be upset with you. There's a tumbleweed. Pete, you want this tumbleweed? Oh. Oops. Okay, we'll just go talk to Sunny. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Um, I'm going to help Ringo t take on the Powder Gangers. Is that true? I guess it is. There's no like. Say no more. I'm in. Like this, the Wild West, man. It's dangerous out here. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. Right. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. Mm -hmm. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. Okay. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. Right. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Okay. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. All right. Uh, this is like asking her how to convince people. I don't need any of that. I'll be waiting. All right, so let's talk to Trudy. Hello. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to walk on the bar. Sometimes that happens because like you walk up on the stool, then you walk up on the bar, and then anyway. Hi. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. Yep. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. I do have to do that. All right, if our speech is high enough, we can convince her. 
If our sneak was high enough, we could convince her. So instead of trying any of these, you know, I'm just going to fail this. Uh, we're a little outnumbered against the powder tank. Think you could help? All the more reason for me to sit this one out. I'll be rooting for you, though. Right? Okay. So, like, when we be level careful up... careful out there. When I level up, I will improve my speech, and I will just be able to convince her then. Let's go talk to Chet. Ooh. Chet, where are you? Are you in bed? No? Oh, I just walked right past you. Hi, Chet. You looking to buy some supplies? Actually, I'm trying, going to try to convince you to fight the Powder Gangers with me. I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. A thousand caps? The town's at stake. There has to be worth more than a few supplies. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. Right. Okay. Take it easy now. All right, so he, he we need a 25 barter in order to convince him. Uh, Easy Pete. Oh, Easy Pete's the guy that sits outside the saloon. Let's talk to him. We're going to need a 25 explosives to convince him, which we don't have, but you know. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Can you help me blow stuff up? I hear you've got dynamite. Too dangerous. Want to kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Right? Um, I have a terrible explosive. Will you give it to me anyway? How hard can it be? Just light them and throw them. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Blow your neighbor up. Blow the whole town up. Yep. It'd be like that sometimes. All right. All right, bye. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Yep, critters do move in there sometimes. Uh, let's go talk to Doc Mitchell. See what he'll do for us. Check your mailbox, Doc. What's in your mailbox? Programmer's Digest. Hell yeah. I can sell that. Doc? Doc? Pencil? Forgot about those pencils, man. Doc? Hey, Doc. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? I like Sunny too, P Potter. Uh... This town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Thanks, Doc. Three stem packs? Okay. Thanks, Doc. Uh, I'll ask him about himself later. We'll, like, come back to now. Good Springs at some point in the future, I'm sure. Actually, I'm not sure we will do that. Let's take all this first aid stuff. Cram. I love it. Cram. Yes, it's food. Buffalo gourd seeds. Empty foot locker. Ammo. Take, always take ammo. Ammo weighs nothing, and it can be sold. I will not be doing stealing, however. That would be illegal. Okay. So we have 170 out of 200 experience points. Um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to level up so that I can convince a couple of these people to fight with us. So... There is a school somewhere here in town. I can't remember exactly where. I think that's it, actually, up there.
Is that the school right there? I think it is. So, the school has these little bugs in it. Little, and I don't want to waste my good stuff here. So, I'm going to use my 9mm pistol, which is my backup pistol. Yep. This is not the school. Where is the school? Anyway, I'll find it. They said something about the school, so... I can't remember exactly where it's at in, that, in town. To be honest with you, like... When I play this game now, I would probably be already out of town. I'd, but I'd be skipping a lot of dialogue and rushing through a lot of stuff. There's the school. Because I've played this game so many times. I've beat this game at least four times. And right now I'm just kind of grabbing everything. If, if I get uh, over encumbered, I'll start throwing stuff out. That I don't want to keep. Alright, I'm going to go around the outside. not the school this is the school right yes yeah, schoolhouse okay turn on the light there's a giant mantis nymph all right gross bugs gross bugs Okay, not bad. That cinematic kill cam comes from uh, killing the last, the last enemy in an area. Just collecting some mantis forelegs, and you know, you never know. It, basically, it, it's got to be worth something, or it wouldn't be there. Open these lockers. We're going to take the caps, not the ashtray and coffee mug. There is a locked safe there, but. Uh, it's in the toolbox. Scrap metal. Always take scrap metal. Nope, that's empty. Alright. So, I have a decent science skill, which is what you're going to use to hack terminals. This terminal is probably to open that safe. Um, rather than explaining how this works, I'm just going to try to, to crack the lock real quick. Uh, that's not it. So, I clicked hostile, and I've got three of seven. That means three of the seven letters in hostile are the correct letter in the correct position. And I just have to figure out what it is. Hmm. Well, it's not adding up. Am I missing something here? Looting. How do you know that? How did you know that? It's not it's not by location then. Anyway, we'll disengage the lock. It's unlocking. We leveled up. Okay, so uh, when we level up, we're going to raise barter to 25. We're going to raise speech to 25. We've got three skill points left. That's not enough to get the, our explosives up to 
uh, explosives is way low anyway. So instead, I'm going to increase my repair to a 40, and I'll just throw one more into science for now. Actually, no, you know what? This game is going to be a lot easier if we get good at shooting. So, all right. And this is the first chance to take a perk. So, Swift Learner is the worst perk in the game. All it does is make you level up faster and costs you one of your perk choices. Not worth it. Intense Training usually is worth it because it just gives you a plus one to one of your special stats. But, like, so Confirmed Bachelor means you do plus 10 damage against male opponents. It also gives you, like, uh, sometimes you get unique dialogue options when dealing with uh, other males in conversation. Uh, you know. Uh, confirmed Bachelor. Lady Killer being the female version. Uh, this is better because there are more male characters in the game than female characters. Um, all the Legionnaires tend to, are, are men. Um, yeah, so you just have... You do that 10 percent extra damage against more other characters. Retention is okay, but I'm not going to be playing with a, a bunch of skill magazines. Rapid reload. Actually, that's pretty good. That's actually a pretty good ability, so I'm going to take rapid reload. All right. We open the safe. We'll take the bottle caps. We'll take the jet. We'll take the mintats, the pre-war money. Stealth boys are really nice, and Super stim packs are worth a lot of money. It gives you a debuff, but it gives you a whole bunch of hit points, but it's worth a lot of money, so I am going to just take it and sell it. Nuka Cola truck and a cherry bomb. I don't need that. Nope. Bobby pin. Bobby pin. What's in the box? Nothing worth taking. Nope. So a lot of this game is just like hunting for the good loot too. I already looked in there. Took the bottle caps. Nope, no ashtray. We'll take that. Nope. Empty lockers. Okay, these lockers are not empty, but they don't have anything worth taking in them. And we can leave. Okay, now I'm going to go talk to Trudy, and I'm going to go talk to Chet, and uh, they'll join our side. Because I improved my barter and my speech. And barter gives you better prices at merchants as well. So we're going to get rich. Okay. We're not going to get the dynamite. And I don't want to wait. So I'm going to, basically I'm going to go get Trudy. Get Chet. And then go tell Ringo we're ready to roll. Oh, wait a minute. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I know you can. Um, you know what? Hold on a second. Be careful out there. Because uh, she's got like a side quest thing you can do where you fix her radio. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. All right. Maybe it's after you finish. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason... I can't help but like you. Yeah. I'm with you. That's Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. Okay. Well, everyone does own a gun. We could stand to be a little better. Yeah, I'm. that's where I'm going next. Be careful out there. She, maybe it's after after the, this fight with the powder gangers that she will. we can repair her radio. Chet! You got... I, I increased my barter to 25. Does that make you happy? It makes me happy. 
Chet, where are you? Did I run right past you again? Yes, I did. Hey there. You looking to buy some supplies? No, I'm looking for you to help us. This again? Like I said, I'm against taking on the powder gangers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. Yeah, but I have a 25 barter now. Let them take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Yeah, but, like, you gave ammo. That's good. Um, let's quickly... Let's quickly just look through um, and make sure... Okay, so I will sell you back your leather armor that you just gave me because I have something better. Um, jet. Jet is a type of drug, by the way. It gives you plus 15 action points, which is what you use to operate VATS. VATS being vault-assisted targeting system. Mintats are like... You know, breath mints. We'll sell these two. Radex is a radiation resistance drug. Stealth Boy is like, it makes you invisible. It literally will make you invisible. Super Stim Pack. And I'm going to sell all these Sunset Sarsaparillas too. Because, no, I'm not. They're heavy though, they weigh a pound a piece. So I'm carrying around 18 pounds of root beer right now. Talk to her about the people that shot you. All right, I will. Oh, you're right, Sean. You're right. Meeting people will sell that as well. So you're going to give us another 204? Great. What about in miscellaneous? We'll sell this carton of cigarettes, this cherry bomb, this empty Nuka-Cola bottle, this few, these two fusion batteries. We don't need empty syringes. We're or almost, he's only got going to have like 22 left after what we sell him, we already own. We'll sell him all those mantis bits. Some pre-war money. The rest we're keeping. And what about ammo? We'll sell him all of our 22 rounds. Okay. Now he's got seven caps and we have over a thousand already. Pleasure doing business. Yes, it was. Goodbye. Take it easy now. All right, so I'm going to do that after we get through this fight. You're right. Uh, Mintats are, they are minty. But uh, you're right. They're like, they're definitely an upper drug. So what's going on? Yeah. Did Sonny agree to help us? And so did almost everybody else. Well, I guess that means... Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. Let's do it. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Yeah, they probably are. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. I always thought it was weird that that's stealing, but nothing else in the store is. Lock picking, good enough to get in there. Okay, so for this fight, I do want my good gun. So I'm going to equip my 10 millimeter pistol. You in the head, then you twice, three times just in case. All right, your head came off. Watch one. Now I'm going to start backing up. Is that it? 
idolized by good springs and vilified by the powder gangers. They love me. Okay. Looks like the fight's over. You know what that means. Corpse looting time. Joe Cobb. 357 Magnum Revolver and some rounds for it. And a stealth boy. And I will leave your body there. I, I gotta be honest with you. A lot of times it's not, it's almost not worth it to take somebody's clothes. But I'm gonna make it. A, I owe you a huge favor. For you this. really do. Here. These are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Um. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. Okay. If I ever visit New Vegas, I will do that. I think the chances are pretty good I'm going to visit New Vegas. So I'm just going to strip all these bodies. I'm not sure what that was. There were six of them, right? Where's the other one? I only found five bodies. Joe Cobb. One, two, three, four more. Oh, there he is. All right, now. Let's take stock of what we just picked up. All right, we got simple shotgun. We got two of them. So I'm going to repair this simple shotgun with that simple shotgun. Nothing else is repairable. Let's look at these clothes. Lightweight leather armor. Okay. Powder ganger plain outfit. We'll repair. And hey, look. It's in perfect condition. And it's not really worth anything. So I'm just going to throw it on the ground. Threw it on the ground. This really isn't worth it either. Or that. That's only worth it because I want to do something with it later. Okay. Well, that's good enough for now. Let's go talk to Trudy and she'll ask us to repair her radio. Which is some more easy experience Hello? points. Trudy, where are you? It's late enough she went to bed, isn't it? Howdy. Okay. What time is it? It is 9.30. Okay. That's what happened is that she went home. Because it's... Um... It's free, easy experience points. I kind of want to get it. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to wait. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait 12 hours. <clears throat> Let her come back in. 9.30 in the morning, I'll go in there. I'll go in there and... Hopefully she will be inside here. Morning. There she is. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Speaking of nice and quiet, do you know I got shot in the head? I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. You know anything about them? Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. Right. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it hasn't been working since. Uh huh. Uh. Did they see where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Yep. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Yeah. Why is that? 
That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Yep. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive. Yep. Which it could be, for all I know. Yep. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Okay. If the fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Okay. Want me to have a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Yep. All right. Let me Be careful out there. Go see about uh, fixing up this radio for you. Um, repair it. Now, you can't hear it because I have the radio turned all the way down because, you know. Copyright. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Um, <laughs> you know what? It's experience points. I'm going to do it. That's it? You're, are, are you implying I've done shoddy work? Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? Okay. Let me see what you got for sale. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Well, you've got stock again. You've got some Sunset Sarsaparilla. I don't think you've got anything I want. Okay, I'm going to take your fruit. You do have Nuka-Cola, but like... Okay. Now, you want to buy my stuff? Like this revolver and this baseball bat and this cleaver and this simple single shotgun and this varmint rifle. I don't think there's anything here I want to sell. Oh yeah, I'm going to sell my purified water. Okay, I'm going to buy back some of my purified water because... Uh, Yeah, good enough. Three fifty seven round. Never mind. Pleasure doing business All with right, you. All right, cool. Later. Be careful out there. So rather than just like go talk to everybody in town, because Good Springs is not where the action is. The action is in Vegas. We're going to start going that way, okay? So, we're just going to auto run for a while. Um, yeah. This game is fantastic, though. Like, we're still basically in the starting area. I haven't... I have not even confirmed my character yet. It's literally possible at this point to... To, uh, still change everything about your character. So you get to a certain distance away from Good Springs, which is not even really that far. I just haven't, like, I haven't left Good Springs yet. For the record, like, there's a way you're supposed to go to get to New Vegas. The fastest I have ever gotten to New Vegas, like, speed running, going, getting there as fast as I could so here's my last chance to change still took me two hours um, there is a much faster way to get there but it's also extremely dangerous see I can edit the name I can rebuild the character but we're just gonna take what we got and travel onward so now I have basically left the tutorial area There's a sign. Prim is that way, Las Vegas is that way, and Gene is right here, apparently. I believe there's some powder gangers back here. I like I do not like powder gangers. And they don't like me.
Oh, well, there went dynamite. Okay, so I, I, my, my arm was damaged. My arm is crippled, as a matter of fact. So I can, if I, I can, a doctor bag will heal all damage to all your limbs. Not all your hit points, but if I take, if I just click my arm, it'll use a stem pack to heal it up. And that's probably good enough. I also get a few hit points back from that. All right, that's what you get. I blew your head off. There's an airplane right there. Pretty sure this airplane ain't gonna work. Would be nice if it did, but it's not gonna. So he's got a nine millimeter pistol, which I can use to repair my nine millimeter pistol. I'm not taking his clothes. Like I say, normally it's not worth it to take somebody's a lot, a lot of times it's not worth it. I won't say even usually, but a lot of times. Let's uh, repair our pistol items. This is the best one. We'll repair it. So it's doing, it's doing much better now. Um, yeah, we're going to check in this shed here. Door to Gene Skydiving. Turn on my lamp. Empty Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle. Is there something in here worth taking? That's locked. I cannot open that. I do not. Boxing tape is worth taking. So... All right, you see how this says, take empty Sunset Sarsaparilla bo bottle, weight 1.0, value 2. I take, I only take items that I know are useful for something specific or have a weight, have a value to weight ratio of 10 value to one pound. Sunset Sarsaparilla Star bottle cap. That is a unique item type that will come into play later and a key hey key now this locker that was locked with average we can use the key and it's got ammo ammo bottle caps cases leather armor is not worth taking this silence 22 pistol might be eventually straight razor is okay Cool. Let's get out of here. So, all right. That is north. North will take us directly to New Vegas. Uh, you know what? I'm going to bring up the map. World map. So, New Vegas is, say, right here. Okay? You can see, like... Crimson Caravan Company. This right here is like the strip. This is the south side of New Vegas. If we just follow this road, we can get there. Problem is, we have to go by this, which is a quarry. Which is infested with some of the toughest monsters the game has to offer. And we're level 2. Our other choice is to go south to here, east over to here then north up this way and then to new vegas and that's the way we're gonna go because i don't know if i can make it through here honestly i don't know if i can make it there is a back road this way which is also infested with monsters i don't like my chances on either one of those and besides they're saying he the person that i'm searching for went south so that's that way south it is hi amy how you doing Nice to see you. Yes, this game is post-apocalyptic, but it's also post-apocalyptic in a in a parallel time. Okay. Somebody's shooting at me. Oh, there you are. Let me crouch. 
Where are you? Okay. Um, if you were looking for like peak strats gameplay, you ain't gonna get it from me. I'm just not that good. Oh, NCR $100 bills. Some bullets, dynamite, police baton, not really worth it. Varmint rifle might be kind of worth it because if I get a couple of them, eh, maybe if I can get a couple of these different types of weapons, I can repair them into something that's useful. Yeah, it's supposed to... Okay, I can now fast travel. That is one of the things that will save us a lot of time is that any location I've been to, so I haven't been to this one, I haven't been to this one, I've heard of them, but haven't been to them, but, like, I can get back to Good Springs just by clicking on Good, good Springs here, but you have, it's a, you have to have been there once, but then you can just fast travel, provided there are not any, like, enemy type things around. That was a landmine, that is a landmine. That is dynamite, and it's, but it says steel. Why? Oh, because you can be friends with the Powder Gangers. I'm not going to steal it because it will cause me to lose karma, which is something that the game tracks separately from booze. It, it, the game tracks it separately from, like, your reputation with different groups. But, yeah, it's, it's America, but, like, American culture got stuck in the 1950s computer technology didn't really like everything is still transistors not integrated circuits like like that type of technology is way worse like which is why when you're hacking computer monitors they're monochrome monitors still but oh, I got too close there's some radiation radioactive sludge there you can see I'm taking radiation damage oh a gecko hey gecko Two geckos. Um, but but nuclear technology is way better. Like cars, this car right here had a nuclear power plant in it to make it run. Hey, gecko. Yeah, it's weird. It's just, it is a weird game. I'll save you! Then I'll kill you. Haha! -ha. Alright, my health is getting a little low. Everything up to World War II was the same, but there was a divergence at some point after that. That is that is mostly accurate. Although there are some little weird pieces of lore that might disagree with that. But, like, for the most part, yeah. So this is Prim. This is Prim, Nevada. This is a real place. It is a town that does have a roller coaster just sort of hanging out in it. And you can see the roller coaster there. Get a better look at it with... Binoculars items. Binoculars are a weapon, by the way. But yep, here's the roller coaster. There's the Bison Steve Hotel. Anyway, let's switch back to something that's actually good. We'll repair that. Is there something that we can repair? There is not. We don't have any extra apparel. We do not. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, flag. The flag of the new California Republic. It's, uh... Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Um, okay. Why is... Thanks for the warning. Be careful. 
You may want to talk to Lieutenant Hayes. Okay, I'll talk to you Lieutenant Hayes. down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. I love the new California Republic flag. It's just, it's much like the California flag, but it's got a two-headed bear. Which is hilarious. Oh my gosh, it's 840 already? I have discovered Prim. Is that stealing? It is stealing. They'll let me take their empty soda bottles, but not their ammo. No, well, that makes sense. Okay, let's go find this Lieutenant Hayes person. Down here, maybe? Yeah, this looks like military little outposty thing. Are you Lieutenant Hayes? I bet you're not. You're Sergeant McGee. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Okay, I will do that. Where are you from? I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Okay. Goodbye. Sir. Sir. All right, Lieutenant Hayes. Hey, Lieutenant Hayes is 10. Hey. You're an NCR trooper. You are Lieutenant Hayes. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Uh, what are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. Okay. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. Okay. What's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. Uh, I'm trying okay. to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Right. I have some other questions. I have some free time. Ask away. Uh, okay. Sir. Really? That's it? What about this tent? Anything good? Yeah, this is going to be all steel. Yeah. You know what? I am going to ask him a couple more questions just to get like yeah. through his dialogue tree. We were sent out here to. Yeah, you, you told me all that already. Tell me about the correctional facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup, killed the guards that weren't able to escape, and have been ransacking the area since then. Yeah. Do you have any information on the convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers, mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. Right. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seem to split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Okay. And that's it. All right, that's it for now. Goodbye. So there's powder gangers in Prim. Mailbox, what's in here? Tin cans. Don't need tin cans. What is it? Do you have anything new to say? No? Okay. Sir. Uh, all right. I can never remember, like, like, I remember where the good stuff is. But I don't always remember if there's something somewhere. No, see, that's all stealing. I don't want to steal. I, I, I want to keep my karma as high as possible. It's been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. All right. So, there's landmines here. Do you see them? There's one right there, right there, and right there. They will definitely blow me up. But I'm going to heal myself instead. I, uh, so I took a stem pack to, to heal me some right now. Then I will, I am down a little over, a little over 60. 
You know what will heal me 50? A Sunset Sarsaparilla. Alright, now I'm going to run up on these mines and deactivate them. It's a gutsy move, by the way, because if, if I had failed that, I probably would have been blown to bits. Leveled up, too! Okay, so... Uh, one of the important things is to get your repair skill up to a 50. The quicker you can do that, the better. So I think I'm going to just raise repair to 50, pop two into guns, and be done with it. All right, we've got about 15 minutes left in the stream. Let's see what we can do. Let's kill as many bad guys as possible. This town is apparently overrun with powder gangers, and there's actually quite a few of them. You just have to know where to look. Like, there's several on the roller coaster. There's going to be two around the corner right here. I don't know why I had a... <laughs> I do not want to tie around. This game does have some flaws in it, I'm not going to lie. Like, the combat AI is not perfect, as you can see there. But, like, most of the time it's pretty good. It, it, it did not do great there. There's a whole bunch inside right there. And then there's a whole bunch on the uh, roller coaster. We made it. Or at least I think there's a bunch on the roller coaster. Yep, I see one of them now. I'm coming for you. I shot your head off. Okay, I am not going that way. That is a death sentence to jump from there. I can jump from here though, right? I don't know that I can. Alright, I'm coming back around. We'll figure this out. Somebody is shooting at me right now though. <laughs> but... You know, hey, that's that thug life, you know, you get shot at sometimes. I see you. Get. Okay, this varmint rifle is quite a popular item. How many do we have? And is it worth using it? Damage is nine. 
versus my 9mm pistol, which is 11. It is a, it has much better range though. All right, we're on a different part of the track now. That's gonna loop back around there and then go that way. I don't wanna, I wanna go this way. Cause that track dies out right there. Yep. Cactus fruit. Any more guys back here? Any more convicts? Not that I see. Alright, well I think it's time to go inside the Bison Steve. Actually, I'm going to do a couple. I'm going to do something else first before I go into the Bison Steve. I'm going to look at Eddie. So this game has. Oh, by the way, Daniel Wayand. You notice that he's wearing a Carabiner outfit, but he has a Mojave Express delivery order four of six. Miscellaneous? Or is it under data? Yeah, okay, so this was my note. Deliver the package to the north, to the Vegas Strip by way of Freeside. This contains one oversized poker chip composed of platinum. I got shot for that. This guy. Deliver the package, blah, 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 blah. Same thing. Contains two oversized dice composed of fuzzy materials. This person was also killed. And they basically had almost the same job I did. You know, deliver this thing. Examine the damaged robot. I'm going to try to fix it with repair. You need 65 or higher. Examine the electronics. 55 science. Try to fix it. Repair with parts. Three scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. I do not have two sensor modules. But I will keep my eye open for two sensor modules. Heck, I might find them in there. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to talk to a couple people real quick. Then we're going to run into the Bison Steve. Pre-war money. Empty. All right. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. You're, you're not kidding. Uh, who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. All right. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. Nice. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a Mojave Express courier. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? I do. Show you the delivery order. Yep. Words. Oh. You're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the cats. Right? What was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. 
paradise, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Right. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. Yeah. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Yep. Well, that's where you came in. Some men stole my package. A man in a checkered suit. Did they come this way? Well, now that you mention it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. All right. He may have heard where they were going. All right. Like that? I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Uh. Do you have anything for sale? Sure, have a look. All right. Let's get as much of his money as we can. Cowboy Repeater is a rifle that uses 357 Magnum bullets. I don't have very many bullets for that. And I also don't like the sights on it. So we're going to skip that. Aid. You got two stem packs. Uh, don't see anything in his aid that I want. Uh, these are modifications for the Gunrunner's Arsenal Chainsaw, which he doesn't have. Duct tape, wonder glue, scrap metal, cases, and ammo. So we're using 9mm, 10mm, we got, I'm going to grab some 20 gauge as well. Uh, nine millimeter, ten millimeter. We got we've got slugs and three odd buck as well. I think that's good. All right, that's all you have that I want to buy. Now, what can I sell you? Do you, I'm going to keep the, the, these weigh nothing. These are like NCR dollars, five, twenties, and hundreds. They weigh nothing, so like they're one of the last things I want to trade. But I will trade away like boxing tape. Frag mines are so good. Dynamite's heavy. This is kind of heavy, but I kind of want to keep it. I don't need powder charges. Don't need that. I don't think I want this silence 22 pistol. I'm going to keep the varmint rifle for sniping just in case. Uh, atomic cocktail, beer, dirty water. Dirty water just means it's slightly radioactive. Instamash, jet. Like purified water from a weight perspective is not worth it to carry around. It's also like... It's all the rad roach meat. Rad roach meat's gross. Scotch. Whiskey. Gecko hides. Gecko egg. Pack cigarettes. Keeping my pencils. You know why. So the 22 rounds. And the 357 rounds. Oh, I'm still OU caps. Let's take another look. All right, you know what? I'm, there's no way I'm going to use 22 dynamite. I don't want to sell you all of it, though. Let me buy back, like, four of them. All right. And I'm going to sell you my frag mines as well. Because I'm not going to use them. Yeah, okay. I'll take 314 of your caps. Just double check. 
Got all kinds of food stuff. Anyway. Thanks. All right. Goodbye. See ya. Cool. See, that's stealing. I don't want to. I don't want to steal. So, oh my gosh, it is nine o'clock my local time. I have to work in the morning, so. But this is a game that you can put dozens of hours into a single playthrough, and it's the kind of game that once you've played through it three times in in, in three different ways. Um. Uh, like you just realize how deep the game is there's so much you can do uh what's with the pencils um they're not making any more of them T to be honest with you i don't know what's with the pencils it started because they're worth a tiny amount uh, at least, like, I started picking them up in all my playthroughs because they're worth a tiny amount and they weigh nothing as far as the game is concerned. So you can carry as many as you want. And so it's kind of become a thing where, like, there's a couple of different things that I collect in this game. Pencils is one of them. Another one is teddy bears. Ninety-two hours on my current playthrough. Right, see... Sean gets it. Wonder glue... Okay. Um, I really kind of want to, to... No, I don't. I want to find a couple of sensor modules, but that's going to take time. I think my next step is, is to go find Deputy Beagle that they were talking about. They say he's, he's basically captured in the Bison Steve Hotel, which is this right here. Bison Steve. So that's what I'm going to do next time. So y'all, thank you for like hanging out. Let me, I'm going to click save game. New save. This other one that it was showing you that, uh, just for the, I'll show you if I load this one right here, the dino bite gift shop. That was my sort of like, Playthrough I was playing to refamiliarize myself with the controls and whatnot. But we're in Prim. I'm right in front of the door to the Bison Steve. And that's where I'm going to leave it this week. So thanks for hanging out, everyone. I will see you all uh, very soon. And yeah, next week we'll just do some more, some more of this. And maybe I'll get my schedules to calm down a little bit and I'll start streaming twice a week. Because that would be fun. This game has, it takes, as, as Sean said, you're on hour 92 of your current playthrough, which is a lot. If I play two hours at a time, it would take me all, almost a year to get to 92 hours. Yeah. Almost a year. Um, so I'm going to have to play this more than that. Of course, Sean, what level are you after those 92 hours? Just out of curiosity. I want to give you the chance to answer before I stop streaming. But I'm curious, because this game is massive. Like, the main game is massive, much less the, the downloadable content that adds another hundred hours of possible gameplay just got to level 40 okay anyway yeah i digress uh we'll be back next week for more of this fallout new vegas my favorite game but until then you know peace be excellent to each other love you guys see you next week